paper to bear review. You see, stage left and stage right, previously consumed, and new beer from Union Craft Brewing out of Baltimore, Maryland, U.S. of A. Yay, yay. The shirt even says it, so you know what time it is. It's time for DJ to go local. That's right, we're going local yet again with another Union Craft Brewing beer. And what beer do we have from them today? We have a variant of Duck Pin, D-I-P-A. But it's not just any Duck Pin. It's their bourbon barrel aged duck pin with pineapple that's right this is a dipa it's a limited serving it clocks in 8.5 percent abv and 90 ibus for hops in this beer they're using cascade mosaic ctz amarillo or amarillo if you prefer galaxy and that's it now for malts they're using pale ale wheat <clears throat> excuse me carahel and munich and then they're using the adjunct of what pineapple and bourbon barrels if you want to call them an adjunct because they definitely give it flavor so you see we have a big old ah, quart of this beer i have definitely definitely earned it today and this week i'm ready to dive into this bad boy um i've been wanting to try this for a while just happened to go past a lovely growler station and there it was so time to crack the top on this oh yeah <laughs> it's blasting out the can get it into the snifter here and tell you what is up with the bourbon barrel aged version of duck pin with pineapple. Mm -mm -mm. Damn, this crowler was filled deep. If it cracked like that, look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, much darker than duck pin usually is. And that's darker than I remember. Anyway, so let's talk about the appearance of this beer. It is a lovely, lovely, super clear garnet color. We've got a solid two fingers of head on this that are soap sudsy. It's coming from a crowler. It might be a lot tighter if it was a fresh, like, commercially packed can, but it's rocky and soap sudsy. And there's already, when, when this head's dropping down quick like it is, already alcohol lakes just clinging, clinging to the insides of this snifter. Wow, look at that. That is a gorgeous-looking beer. It's got that fluffy sort of white head on it. Mmm. That looks delicious in the glass, but you know what? Since it's got all these hops and bourbon barrel and stuff going on, it's got to smell good too. So let's see what's up with the aroma. Mm, man, right up in front, it's like, hello bourbon, vanilla. After that, the pineapple's coming. There's some char from the barrel. And then there's tons of hops, lots of citrus, mango. Mm, but man, the bourbon is large and in charge. There's more sweetness in this than I got. I remember getting ever from regular duck pin, double duck pin. But maybe that's coming from the pineapple. It's definitely present in this beer. There's some dankness in the back end. It smells like a big bourbon barrel aged American barley wine. Mm, man, this freaking smells delicious. I have earned this brew. Like I said, it's time to dive in. Cheers! Wow. Mmm. Hello. Bourbon. Damn. Mmm. Wow. It smells a lot like an American barley wine. It's been bourbon barrel aged, and it's drinking like that, too. Um, wow. Plenty of hop in it. It's When you drink regular duck pin, it's all about the hops. This is about the hops, but it's definitely about the barrel. The pineapple is more of a background player, but it's playing really nice off the big vanilla and bourbon notes that you get right up front. It blasts you right in the face. After that, I'm getting the citrus coming in. <clears throat> Excuse me. With tons of tropical fruits mixing with that pineapple. Of course, the pineapple's dom dominant because I've used it as an adjunct, but it's not a huge flavor. This beer is definitely showcasing barrel aging. It reminds me in some ways of uh, the barrel aged Chessie that I had before, but it's definitely got that hop and fruit character going on. Mm. Um, there's a big spirit and liquor sort of flavor to this beer. Not so much that it's boozy. I'm getting warming going down the chest. I don't recall getting like warming when I had regular double duck pin, but you know what? You got the spirit added into this. I wonder if it clocked actually above 8.5%. Who knows? But man, very, very easy to drink at 8.5%, and the barrel aging is definitely showcasing this. That's the forefront. After that, the hops are coming in. So this is drinking less like a dove, double IPA and, like I said, more of like a barrel aged American barley wine. There's got plenty of hop in it and that nice fruit addition, nice layers of complexity. I'm getting some toffee and some caramel. 
<clears throat> excuse me, in the back end too. A little bit of that barrel char, and then the fruits all come in, the tropical fruits. There's a decent bit of dankness and a little bit of piney herbaceousness going on as well. Let me take another taste, and then we'll grade this because I want to sit and kick it and watch some tube and enjoy this brew here because I got a whole freaking quart of it, so I got the time. Mmm. Nice. It's a really nice showcase. As it's opened up a little more, the pineapples and the hops are actually lifting up in it. It's a really well-made beer. I'm digging it. Now, if you don't like bourbon and you're expecting a big-in-your-face DIPA, that's not this beer. Um, where's the line drawn, really, if you ask back in the day and what things are now between a DIPA and an American barley wine? There really isn't much different. It's just what they were calling it back then before they were calling them DIPAs or triple IPAs like they are today. <clears throat> this is definitely, I guess, a DIPA-ish thing, if you want to call it that. These are we're talking about titles and what are semantics anyway. But, man, I think this is really well done. And this reminds me a lot of um, Bean Gene that I had with uh, Johnny the Stunt Trigger, which is from Revolution. That was a porter, but it was definitely a big bourbon. That was all like wood for the reserve up in your face. And whatever bourbon barrel they use in this, that's what's up in your face in this. And I'm digging that. I, I like it. It's a great barrel agent showcase. So, let's grade it. At time of recording, Beer Advocate has no grade, but Untapped does, and they're giving this 3.72 caps, which I would guess is into their high A- minus version on the A range. I'll take one more drink just because I want to take another drink, then we'll give you a grade. Mm. As it invades your palate, the hops are actually coming up more, but the bourbon is always accenting it from front to back. I think this, for me, is an A-level beer. I'm going to go 96. Really tasty, super easy to drink, nice flavors in the back end. But like I said, don't go into this thing and this is going to be a big hop ripper. It's not that. It's more American barley wine-like that has been barrel-aged really well with a great fruit accent to it. So that's what I think of this beer. Have you had Union Craft Brewing's barrel, bourbon barrel-aged double duck pin with pineapple? That's a lot of words for one title, but if you have, let me know what you know, because I'd like to quit broco and back and forth. If you haven't had the hard-to-find bourbon barrel age version, if you've had regular duck pin or double duck pin, let me know what you think, because that would be cool, too. Also, what is really pretty freaking awesome is when you think Lobie drink locally. That's right. You thought I forgot about that, didn't you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not today. Anyway, that is supporting the craft beer movement. I'm getting it done. Witness in front and behind. We're getting it front to back. That's how you do it. Also, oh, if you could really do me a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe. And, you know, if you get around to it, kind of consider maybe smashing that like button because that <laughs> was definitely only one quart <laughs> of uh, bourbon barrel aged double duck pin with pineapple will definitely put my big ass happy face on tonight. So to next DJ Brew 2, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of loco beer drinking love for you and you know what's coming that's right you're ready for it by now i guess well i'm ready to finish this hell yes yeah, so it's coming big pizza